Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Technical Announcement. Now it's a new month, we start in the month of December, 1st of December, it's Thursday, tomorrow non-farm perils coming out, so it's exciting, but we're not going to really change our stance. Now this is the dollar franc, which I've been saying, if it lifts its head up, keep selling it. Yes, there was a great opportunity as a double top, alright, just slightly off there. And if you sold at the double top, great. Um, no matter where it lifts its head up, I reckon today, <clears throat> tomorrow, it's good to sell. If you're a bit weary and you don't know if it's going to turn or not, if it's still going to go up or not, just do this. Draw a nice little tight trend line there. In fact, let's do it this way, I think. That's a bit lower. There you go. If it breaks down on the goodbye kiss, which is a touch back on that line that it broke, you can sell again. I think it's good to short every time it lifts its head up. Let's take a look at the dollar yen because this is similar and I've been saying the same thing about the dollar yen. Whenever it lifts its head up, just keep nailing it. Okay, and let's get rid of this. There we go. Because I am expecting a pullback on the dollar yen. Also, just like yesterday, it bounced off. Same as with the dollar franc does it have a bit more room to go up if it does keep selling it okay um, where can you sell I think I did draw a line for this before okay yep yeah, this area isn't too bad that's 114.63 if it hasn't reached there already oh it's already reached there that's fine let's make it a week let's see what we've got um, which is there, that's fine. I reckon this is going to be the region where they're going to be selling it off as well. Will it go to 115 region? Ah, doubt it. I'm not changing my stance on that dollar yen. The moment it raises its head up, you just keep selling it. Um, I think that's the way to go. Just like with the dollar franc, what you can do is just draw a trend line here, a nice little tight one. If it breaks down from here, then you can carry on with that sale uh, and you can just wait for the line to break and then go short if that makes you a bit more comfortable because I know some people are really scared when the market's going up and they have to press the sell button because it's a bit, <clears throat> it's a bit opposite to our psychological reaction. However, that's what trading is all about. Now, let's take a look at the pound dollar. Now, pound dollar yesterday, I said as well, <clears throat> as the market pulls back to this blue line here, that's going to be a good buy kiss. It's good to go up. So every time the pound dollar pulls back, you need to go long with this. Okay, that's our approach with this one. The other, um, the other week, um, I think what happened was, on the 20th, or was it on the 23rd? I said if it breaks down this line, it's good to sell. But as you can see, it didn't really break down that area, it just kept pushing up. And then this retest was good to buy. It was a good buy case of that breakout there. Okay, market broke out, came back to this line to test it and go back. Today, also, if it pulls back, just keep buying. If it pulls back, just keep buying. I think pound dollar is on its way um, up. I think it's a um, new upwards trend starting with the pound dollar and i think it's good to definitely follow it along all right in fact what you can see here is with the pound dollar what we have is a nice little channel okay so we might see the pound dollar as you can see oh crikey there we go all the way up there okay so this is going to be the beginning of a nice trend let's take a look at the euro dollar same here the moment it pulls back I kept saying push it up push it up and keep buying yesterday was good to buy the day before yesterday was good to buy every time this baby pulls back just keep buying it you can see the markets making a rectangle here if it's gonna make you feel comfortable wait for a breakout and then go long you got targets up here I think this is good to go got targets all the way up to 1.08 double five it's good and if it breaks up beyond that we can even go higher on this currency pair I think it is all good to go long all right so as you can see the markets really come into those levels where it tested before 
in order to buy and that's what we need to do so just keep buying it at those levels and I think it's going to work out fine um, at those levels let's take a look at the Aussie dollar now if the Aussie dollar pulls back let's get rid of this line let's get rid of this line and in fact let's get rid of this as well now if the Aussie dollar also pulls back I think it's also good to go long a beautiful place to buy is going to be this double bottom simply because this is a channel as well okay so you can see that's the resistance at the top there in fact you know what what we can do is make this happen slightly tighter there we go okay this is where the market's been going we had a sideways market and a nice breakout now what we want the market to do is to test that breakout and the test of that breakout is quite high isn't it it's going to be around let's do this all right there so the market has the potential to come all the way back up here again before they sell it off all right and that's what it's going to look like so in order for us to go up what we're going to do is keep buying on the pullbacks okay this is going to be your channel there and that's going to be a channel here or let's see what we can do or that's how it's going to look like okay which is either way same kind of thing okay now just one thing this is the double bottom on the Aussie dollar if you're following it just one thing it just might pop its head down and then go up so don't be shocked okay it's good to wait um, for pullbacks but I think you know this the the uh, dollar I think is going to start losing value a little bit after this rush um, let's take a look at gold now I did mention yesterday if it's if it pops its head down to the bottom of the channel to buy and this line as you can see I kept it there yesterday popped its head down in the market bought nice and easy all right if it pops down again you should buy it again in fact let's adjust this to something a bit more recent all right so there we go nice and easy okay so if it pops its head down again just keep going long on that one Brent I did say we're going to go long all right and I said if it breaks above this point it's got room to go all the way up to this level here the $60 mark as well all the way up there so oil you should be following that through I think it was good to buy yesterday I did say the market could come up to this line again to test it and it's done that so it's all good um, now what you've got to do if you've got an oil trade open well then um, then what are you going to do is a good question well if you got it open you should have taken some profit and let the rest run now we don't need this now what we need to do is evaluate the situation a little extra on the daily so where to buy the oil if it pops its head down it's going to be your next question and that is going to be well today or tomorrow around 48.80 I think that's good to buy also what you can do on your daily draw this chart line here okay nice and easy every time it pulls back to this line just keep buying it okay I think it's going to go upwards and I think this new move here is already the beginning of a new trend so when it pulls back again just keep buying all right that's the way to go until the market comes to this range here okay in fact slightly higher because what I think the market will do is if I just join the tops here all right we'll probably see the market around there at 54 and if it breaks above that we'll see that around 60 which will be your second target it's very easy to discover find out okay there you go it's going to be around there if it breaks beyond that so hope that helps have a great day trading and keep your um, eyes and ears open for tomorrow's news because it's going to be interesting when non-farm payroll comes out all the best